over the last year that we've been putting emphasis on in the RD8 is to get the design right. Make sure that we had both the staff to take this thing all the way through its development and into the fielding stage. It's important for us to focus on the big levers of cost, the big levers of scale. So how can we drive more production volume so we can reduce part costs uh, for everyone? And that, that's an important thing as we start the program off. What we are finding as we're building uh, the pieces for the R88 is just how big this helicopter is. So we're moving things around in the factory, uh, making room for all of the pieces that are going to be R88, bringing in new equipment that's large enough to make the pieces for the uh, aircraft and provide us with the capacity to build at volume. For me, it really became real when we saw the mock-up at Verticon this year in uh, 2025 because that was the first time I had actually seen it at scale. It's truly impressive, the size of it. It's nothing like a Robinson you've seen before. The ideal vision for the RD8 was to have something incredibly utilitarian that could be used in uh, so many different ways. And so one of the things we're doing now with the landing gear is we've got it pretty well detailed out, so we know what the components are going to look like, we know the sizing of the components. We are making, uh, working on making in-house prototypes to be able to do our tests before we do the real test. We have some new five-axis milling machines that we're using, in particular for the hydraulic components and that allows us to do work that we used to send out internally. Uh, that accelerates our iterations through the design cycle, gets the parts into test sooner, and allows us to then make the next uh, iteration on the design. So right behind me is the largest water jet that we now own, so we needed a larger cell that can support the R88. It's also more efficient and ultimately benefits from several years of improvements in the water jet technology uh, that we use in all of our sheet metal parts. Ultimately, next year will be major investments in inspection technology, some of the expansion of subassembled tools, fixtures, dies, and the cabin fixtures are in work now being fabricated. But in addition to that, we do a lot of investments in testing. I have here with me today uh, a test drive shaft that we've been working with, and we put hundreds of hours of testing on it, and then we observe uh, the wear characteristics and the durability of the drive shaft. Here we are going to test our first cabins that are coming soon. We have like several reviews during the week with each system in which we try to notice all the bottlenecks early. We can fix or we can change the path that we are going through so we can deliver on time. The one thing I would want the customer to know is that we are uh, doing our best to deliver them a product that they're going to be happy with and we're not going to cut any corners on that. We'll build it the way that you've come to depend on Robinson and building product from our site here and build at great capacity and ensure you have the parts you need to run your business without thinking about the little factory in Torrance that backs it all up. That's the promise, that's the expectation, that's what we think Frank would be telling us today.